Hey, welcome to my uh, Just League Unlimited commentary on uh, double dates. Uh, so, at right now, uh, I'm starting at the point where the scene opens and the guy is playing with his ring, pretty much. I mean, I just saw the Warner Brothers logo and then I saw a guy playing with his ring. So yeah, the point of these commentaries, I just wanted to talk about my opinion on this episode. If this does well, uh, I might do more. I might consider doing more, but other than that, uh, this might just be a one-off thing, so... Uh, please let me know if you want me to do more. I'll do more. Otherwise, uh, this is all you're gonna get. So the reason why I picked this episode is out of all of the episodes of season one of Does the League Unlimited, this one was really the one I really appreciate and I really love and everything. Uh, I really can't find a lot of things I hated about this episode. I mean, the only thing I kind of didn't like was Mandagora's design. I think that's how you pronounce his name. His design was the only thing that I think is, you know, bittersweet. But whatever. Uh, other than that, it's a great episode. I love it. Uh, because again, it has such a, has you know great scenes. I love the uh, intro that shows Huntress trying to kill uh, this target. You know, and it's great because it plays off the the, the expectation that you know she's doing something for the greater good and all that. You don't think it's a revenge type deal. Until it, 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 you know, it reveals itself that, oh, this was a test and you were doing this out of revenge. So you're out of the Justice League. And, and it was just that whole kind of thing, how it played out was great. Uh, and again, like, you know, if you talk to me about any other show, the the, mo the number one show that I gush, you know, every day, all day is uh, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited. You know, you know, those shows, I really gush over them, especially the Bruce Tim. Uh, series. Anything that Bruce Tim does, I gush. Just like a fanboy over. Anything that he produces is gold, except for the Green Lantern animated series that I wish never existed. But whatever, that's that's not here nor there. But yeah, this is a great, great show. I like it. I gush every day. I am the biggest fanboy of this show. I will. Man. Uh, the intro I, I kind of think is kind of bad. Uh, because I like the Just League intro where it was just, you know, CGI and it was quick and short. This is just so long that I feel like that they could have been doing so much more in the episode than what, you know, during the time that they showed this intro, this theme. You know, the music is great and I get what they were coming for, going for, but, uh, you know, and I and I heard in the commentary of of the show that you know they you know they did a lot of you know best of you know clips of the episode that they were airing, but you know nothing that they they would deem spoiler heavy or anything. But a lot of people didn't like it because it, they, they felt it was spoiler heavy, and you know and I agree with that kind of complaint. And Again, I, that, that, I still think the length is the number one thing I don't like. It's, that's the first thing that comes to my mind is, I wish it was shorter. If it was shorter, it might have had a better chance, in my opinion. Uh, but the art is nice. Uh, there's still art that's there. And again, I like the dialogue between John and Huntress. It's so great. And I like, you know, John, what they did with the Martian Manhunter in uh, Unlimited a lot more than what they did with Justice League because I feel like in Justice League they always had to try to fight, find a way to fit him in and here I, I just think it's a much better way to have his role of just being an organizer kind of superhero and I kind of like that from him because it, you know I don't know how he would I never really liked him as a superhero like you know patrolling with Batman and Superman I never really like that, but whatever. And the other thing I really like about this show that a lot of shows kind of miss, in my opinion, is that it had a great atmosphere and environment with the other superheroes. Like, you, you definitely get a sense of community with them. And that's something I, I you know, again, like with Young Justice, I know I did a video between just the Young, Young Justice, but I never get the sen got the sense of community with it. I always, it felt so forced and kind of. Uh, it just didn't feel organic to me, or you know, natural. Here, it just feels so natural and organic and fun and lively, and you know, it's just 
you know, things are always happening in the background. You're seeing all these kind of heroes in the background. I mean, they cram pack the background with uh, heroes. Well, in Young Justice, they just kind of took the good ones and made those background. You know, it's, it's, it's a mix. It's a mess. It's a mess of a show. But uh, we're not talking about Young Justice. Uh, but yeah, Justice League Unlimited is so, th this episode double dates is so great. Uh, I like that they brought question in this episode. He's you know one of my. In my opinion, the most underrated superhero in this show. I gush so so hardcore about Question because he is. I mean, every scene I see him, and he has such great lines, such great dialogue, everything. So I really like him and and uh, his chemistry with Huntress. And I also like how he makes these bogus uh, conspiracy theories as well, which I also like about uh, Question. Uh. Yeah, I, I just, and right now I'm seeing Mandagora, I don't see, you know, why I should like this design. I, I just don't get, you know, somewhere along the line, someone had to have said that's a bad design. Someone. <laughs> I refuse to believe that, that everyone was okay with this design, but you know what? Whatever. The entire episode's so good, I could look the other way for this. I, and you know, usually when I see some episodes, if there's a design thing that, you know, is just in my way, it will stop me from liking a show. Like, recently I was watching uh, Space Dandy, and I, and instantly I stopped watching, I, I lost interest in that show because, uh, you know, some of the animation designs I didn't really like. I, you know, I like the, the quality, but, you know, there's some of the designs, you know, just, uh, I didn't like it, and I just, eh. But with this, I, I was able to somehow look the other way. And, and you know, I know you're going to say, well, you're a yeah, Justice League fanboy. Of course you can look the other way. I really hated the Joker design in uh, the fourth season of Batman. So, and that made me really hate uh, the fourth season of Batman to the point where I refused to, to watch it for the longest time. And when I watch it, I still feel kind of mixed with it. And I really don't watch it as much as I watch any of the other uh, shows, but again, like they were just doing a lot. Of, they were transitioning to a different style, which is another thing I really like about this show is it is a big evolution and a step up for, uh, for this for Bruce Tim and the animation series because we look at, you know, Batman the animated series's first three seasons, it had you know very distinct style where it wanted to make it feel. Like it was a you know a, a '60s show, like a show that was, that took place during the '60s, and then with like the fourth season of Batman and Superman and Justice, they they kind of lost that kind of style and went with and you know the typical you know Jack Kirby kind of comic book style homage, and I think that's that's great. You know, I think it's a very great style, and I really like it. It's very detailed. The colors are really dark and. Stylized, and the other thing that I really feel that you know, Batman and uh, Superman the animated series kind of lacked was uh, the you know these strict you know harsh sh you know sharp lines and all that because everything was just so loose. I feel like in that show, like if you look at you know Lex Luthor in Superman the animated series, he looks like a blob half the time. I mean, it, he just looks more goofy in in that than when you look at him in. Uh, Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, we look at Lex Luthor, he has much of a defined line and structure that he, you could take him more seriously and, he, and it's just, it makes everything better. So yeah, the, the uh, style quality, the quality came a long way from from uh, the 90s or the early 2000s when uh, the animated series was starting. It, it, it just came such a long way and, I lo and every time I look at it, I'm, I'm in awe. And again, what I really like is, uh, you know, these characters are very independent characters. They're strong. And, you know, I didn't talk about this earlier, but I like the cut when, uh, you know, these two security men are trying to hold the Green green Arrow back from punching or fighting uh, Mandagora. I love that scene because it made him so much awesome. But yeah, I love it. And I love the uh, color schemes and this show as well. It's very, very, very well done. And, uh, you know, when I, when I work on my own projects, 
I do look at this show a lot for uh, for insp for inspiration and influence and uh, ideas because I really like the 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 design. Uh, you know, but I I try not to, you know, completely steal designs because that's just lame and shitty. So I like you know try to you know get an idea from this style and kind of work work with it. Oh, and, and the fight scene that's coming up is great. Uh, I love the fight scene between Black Canary and Huntress, and uh, you know that the fight scenes are just so phenomenal and great. Again, like that's another thing that I like about this particular show is that the fight scenes are very well done. Uh, because again, like this is a prime time show, so they could get away with a lot more violence than they could when they were a Saturday morning cartoon. Because I'm just so cool, I'm talking about cartoons, and I'm in my 20s. Yeah, hey, hey ladies, hit me up. I'm talking about cartoons. Uh, but yeah, I really like the fight scene. I, li I love the rivalry between Black Canary and Huntress. It has such a nice chemistry between those two. And again, like, that's a, what the show does a lot better than Young Justice, is the chemistry. Because, you know, there's even characters that, you know, hate each other, and, you know, they work together so well, and, I don't know, it's great. And I've oh, there's everything about the show is great, and Young know, Justice is kind of, you know, Young Justice is that show that has a lot of effort but isn't quite there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, again, this is such a great episode. I love the dialogue. I love the uh, bitterness, and again, like these characters are much more believable, and they and you know, with Young Justice, the way that they one up each other just feels so forced and contrived, and just you know, overall lame. In this, it's like when someone tries to one-up each other, it's something that's so cool and, you know, like, especially with Question, for example, in this in this scene, he just, you know, tricked Black Canary and, you know, to, to an extent, Green Arrow into thinking that he, that what he had was his, uh, um, was a big clue to this case or something, and it wasn't. So I really love that. I love that, you know, these characters can outsmart each other uh, so well, and it's awesome. You feel like, when, when uh, Question kind of tells Huntress, well, you know what, I have this clue, and they don't. It, it's just like, wow. Fucking, that's awesome. Sorry again if I curse too much. Uh, if there's little ones watching, I apologize in advance. Uh, so, sorry. But again, I love this show, so I get really invested in what I see. And again, I love the uh, designs, and and the, the thing I like about the you know nothing that's a new a great uh, landmark for the for the quality is the uh, shading, especially for the costumes because they made because they uh, imply so much good texture with their costumes. Uh, because when something is supposed to look like leather, it looks like leather. <laughs> uh, Unless it's like cloth and it kind of, you know, looks like a normal cartoon. But uh, when they do like, you know, the tights and, you know, like the cape of Batman and all that, they get the colors just right where it's like black and blue. And it's a darker blue. It's not like this bright blue like Silver Age Batman has. Oh, and this bag, this uh, flashback is so, oh, it's great. Like I love seeing these parents running in and trying to hide their daughter from this this guy that's gonna kill them. Like, he knows that, that, that uh, him and his wife are not gonna make it out of alive. And, uh, you know, they, they had to hide their daughter. I love that. Like, again, like, they showed this scene, and to me, it's like, it, it it's a mind boggle because it's like, someone said, oh, this is okay, having a little kid watch her parents being brutally killed. Like, not shot to death, it was beaten to death with his bare fists. Both of them, mom and dad. That that is that is really rough. Uh, the fact that it shows these silhouettes and then it zooms into uh, Hunter's as a little girl crying. That that to me, like you know, I don't really feel. Uh, I don't get too emotional when I watch TV, but that was just so emotional. It was just like wow, damn. <laughs> uh, and then it followed by a very good comic relief that wasn't you know goofy or out of place and 
you know, it works. It works, you know, I love it. But again, like with Young Justice, when they had comic relief, it was just cringe-worthy. It was just like, oh, just shut up. And here, when they come and believe it's like, it, it it fits. It fits the scene perfectly, so it works. And I love it. Uh, and again, like, when I look at this, I get so inspired. And, uh, you know, I get all these ideas for, for other projects I really want to do. Uh, you know, Agent Strider, this animation I really want to, you know, work on. Uh, you know, it's, insp it's inspired by this show that I'm watching. Because, like, I love the... The style and I love, you know, everything about it. But I don't. But you know, I I, I just have to pull myself back sometimes and say like, well, gotta look at my uh, my work before I continue. But whatever. And I love this uh this this gag with Green Arrow just saying like, you know, are we dead yet? Are we dead yet? And I love it. And then he saves their lives and uh, Black Canary is uh angry at him for <laughs> saving their lives. I thought that was great. Uh. Man, I love that he was like, oh, Beam is set anywhere, just anywhere, John, come on. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a great thing, John's like, oh, why? <laughs> uh, man, the the writing is so, so brilliant in this show. Like, I know so many people are like, you know, who oh, I'm not a story person, but, you know, if I pop this in, you're going to love the story. And again, like, you know, the thing that I like about, you know, this show is that it takes a lot of risks with uh, the villains that they pick. But, uh, you know, that's another time. Let me talk about it in the commentary if I if I have the chance. But uh, I like uh, this episode, as I said many times in this commentary. You know, and I really wish, I really wish there was more Huntress. I, I, I would love to see more Huntress. I really feel like that's a super, that's a, that's a heroine that's so under underappreciated because she is surprisingly dark. I mean, I got a Hunter's comic and when I read that, it was great. I mean, there was some parts I didn't really care for, but there, there were, but every part that was like, you know, whatever, there was 10 million great parts. <laughs> you know, it was just, it was a great comic and I wish they did more Huntress. I really do. Like, someone, if, if you're watching this commentary, listening to this commentary, because I know you are, do more Huntress. I want. I want Huntress. I want more. I want a third. I want a third of Huntress. All of a sudden, I want Huntress. Everything. Because I. I really think she's a great heroine, and this. And this show really made me believe that this character is, the best, heroine. So if someone knows of other Huntress related stuff happening recently, please let me know, because I really like Huntress, and I really think that, there should be more, from her. Because I don't think I have not seen a lot of stuff from Huntress, and I would have bought stuff that was Huntress. Because again, like you know, the thing I like about the format of just the Unlimited is that it introduces you to so many you know superheroes that you know if DC wanted to introduce, if they wanted to bring back a, a superhero or something, this show would have you know been the great platform for it. So you know, it kind of sucks that there's only two seasons of the show, but I guess. Uh, you know, it had to end sometime. All the good things must come to an end, some say. Oh, and again, like, this part, I start questioning M Mandagora's body, because it's like, he's carrying a, a, a cinder blade, he's carrying like, a steel girder. And it's like, okay, so is he a mutant? Is he an alien? Like, what is this guy? Uh, and that's the thing that, you know, I, I get hung up on in this episode sometimes. It's like, it's it's like, really? This guy is like a... It's like, what is this guy's deal? Because like, he doesn't look like he has any muscle. So, so like, I, I don't get, like... I don't get Mandagora in this episode. I re because in the comic book that I read of Huntress, they did a good job depicting the person who killed Huntress's parents. But here, it's like... This monster, I, I just wish they chose a better design. Oh, and I love the the uh, confrontation that we finally get with uh, Huntress and Mandagora. And another thing that, you know, Young Justice doesn't do is payoffs. This, you know, oddly has a great payoff at the end. You know, and, and I could see people argue that's a cop-out, but, you know... 
you can't have a a hero because like that's what honestly Hunter says she she's a hero she can't just be going killing people all willy nilly so I really like that you know they ended it this way because they could have ended it in, in a billion different cop outy shitty endings but they chose this way and this is a great way to end it and you could argue that it's you know it's too obvious and blatant and well, they had, it's just like, you know, that, that stuff is all there, but it's done in a very subtle way. Uh, because it, because to me, it never came off as, look at this, look at this. It was just like, you know, it, it, it it's entertainable and it's quiet. And that's a lot, a lot of what Young Just, of Just League does is a lot of quiet things in the background. I love it. That's one thing that Young Justice just doesn't do. It, it it's not subtle with anything. It's just, ugh, you know. But whatever. But again, I'm watching this, and man, it is great. I love, you know, just everything that you know. Question, just you know, telling hunters this is what you want, and here's saying no, this is not what I want, and just coming to that realization. And it's just like, you know, you get this sense of, she has become such a cold character at the end of this episode, but yet she's so warm. <laughs> like, honestly, like, if you compare her to Batman, she is a lot warmer somehow than Batman is. Like, it's just, every time Huntress is there, it's like, I, I uh, whatever, you know, it's, it's great. And it ends with still a sad ending for the boy, like, her, her... His dad is arrested, like, and he ended, and he even said, like, you know, after this, I, I was gonna do any more, uh, illegal stuff or whatever, and that's, you know, half the reason why he did all the stuff that he did, and he still gets arrested. After that, it's like, he gets, ar oh, it's great. And I love that, uh, that, you know, Question puts all his cards on the table, telling Hunters that he loves her, that's, that to me is great. And again, yeah, it's played subtly, and, you know, to me, that's a great relationship, uh, right there, I like their relationship a lot, and oh, it's great. So that's it for this episode. Uh, I really hope you enjoy these commentaries. If you want me to do more, let me know. I have a few ideas what I'm gonna do next uh, if I end up keeping this up. Uh, but I don't know how this is gonna do. I don't think uh, I don't know. We'll see how this does. If if uh, I get enough demand for it, I'll do more. So thanks for listening. I really like doing commentaries, but uh, hopefully there will be more. So I'll see you next time. Thanks.